Let's talk about while loops. While loops are a type of loop, obviously, and they share a lot with a for loop. Except, instead of running a block of code a number of times, it runs a block of code while a certain condition is true. Hence, the name while loop. You'll find that while loops are a lot less common than for loops, but every once in a while you'll find the perfect use for while loops over for loops. For instance, when I make any sort of robotics project, I find while loops very handy to use. Anywho, let's take a look at how to use while loops with code, and we're going to do this using two different languages, because I think it can be really helpful for you to see how they compare and contrast. And plus, you'll pretty much learn two different languages at once. So on the left is the language C-sharp using the IDE Visual Studio, which should interest you if you want to do Windows development or want to make games using a popular game engine called Unity. And on the right is the language Python 3 using the IDE Visual Studio code, which should interest you if you want to get more into general programming or data science. Alright, so here I have two brand new console projects, and if you don't know how to make a new console project in either C-sharp or Python or both, be sure to check out the video in the description. Uh, it's called how to install an IDE. And at the end of that video, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so while loops. Now, today's lab is going to be pretty short because there's not really a lot to while loops. But let's start by looking at the syntax for a while loop. In C sharp over here on the left, I'm going to get rid of these two lines because I don't need them and they come standard with every new console project. And I'm simply going to write out while and then in parentheses true, and then our code block. This is the syntax for a while loop in C sharp. You essentially just write while, and then you have to pass in a Boolean here, and then you have your code blocks and where you can put all of your demands that will continue running over and over and over while this Boolean is true. And over in Python, a while loop looks like this, while, and then true, and then I'm just going to put pass here in our code block. Pass just pretty much means don't do anything. And this is the syntax for a while loop in Python. Pretty simple. Now one extremely important thing that you need to know about while loops is that while a while loop is running, whatever comes after the while loop. So if I come down here, for example, into a console, console.write line, for example, and then um reached for example anything that comes after a while loop will not be reached until the while loop has been completed and again the reason for this is because when you run a while loop it just runs whatever the code is in its code blocks over and over and over however many lines there are it goes one by one by one and then once it reaches the end it starts over the top and continues going until this boolean value here is no longer true once this is false, then it will stop doing its loop and then go to the next lines after the while loop. And this process also happens in Python. If I just come down here and do print and then reached, for example, this while loop will keep on doing every single line in its code block until this condition here is false. And if it's never false, then guess what? This code right here will never be reached. And I can prove that. But first, I need to set up a couple of variables. I'm going to come up here, and then I'm going to initialize an integer. Uh, let's just call it a. Why not? And we'll set it to equals zero. And so within this Boolean value, all we have to do is say if a is less than 100, then we want you to run. And then every single time that you run, we can simply just do a plus plus. Use the increment operator. And then let's also do a console dot uh, right line uh, and just just print out the actual integer value. And so what's going to happen here is that when our main program is ran, it's going to go down the line and then hit our while loop. And because a is less than 100, it's going to run this block of code one time, you know, plus to a and then write it out. And then it's going to reach the end and do it again and then again 100 times until a is no longer less than 100. Uh, once it's greater than 100 or equal to, then this will no longer run, and then they'll go to our right line uh, reached right here. And we can print it out, and I can prove it to you. But first, I need to come down here and do a console.read key. This is so the terminal doesn't close on us when we hit the start button up here. And I'll bring the window over. And as you can see, we get results that we expect to get. The while loop will run over and over and over until its Boolean condition is no longer true. 
And once it's false, then finally the while loop will exit, it goes to the next line, and then on that, that line after it, we have the printout reached, which there it is at the end of the while loop. And over in Python, this is done the same exact way, just in the Python syntax. So to set that up, I'm simply gonna come up here. Oops, what did I just do? Oops, I think I, yep, collapse that, okay. Come up here, I'm gonna do A uh, equals zero, and then while A, is less than 100 then uh instead of pass we're going to print just whatever a equals and so now to prove that they work the same i'm gonna hit the play button up here and as you can see we have oh we forgot to increment right i'm simply going to increment a up here to a plus equals one and now our code should be fixed. I'm at the play button and bada boom, there you have it. Same exact scenario as in C sharp. And finally, there's one more way that you can go about stopping a while loop, and that's by using the break statement. So first question, what is the break statement? Well, the break statement is a statement that can only be used with loops, like for loops and while loops. And when you use the break statement, all it does is just breaks that loop moving on to the next line after the loop. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to replace this Boolean right here with just a regular Boolean true value. And then I'm gonna go into here and write an if statement. So now I'm gonna say if A is greater than or equal to 100, then what we wanna do is break. And to prove this works, I'm gonna come up here to the play button, hit start and then bring the window over and you can see that it works exactly the same as the other method. And to do this method in Python, I'm simply gonna replace this Boolean with the true Boolean value and then gonna come down here and do if A is, is greater than or equal to 100, oops, 100, then we want to break. Gonna hit that play button up here to prove that it works. And you see that we have the same exact thing. Probably didn't even notice that it changed. And that's while loops for you. They can be handy in certain situations, but to be honest, you'll probably more often be using for loops. And there you have it. That is everything that you need to know to get started with programming in regards to while loops.